You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Of CES here. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. How's it going, John? I'm good. I'm I'm hanging in there. We're having lots of interviews, giving you guys lots of good content. The and best content ever, quite frankly, in the universe, in the history of the universal tech. That's right. But for now, we've even got more great content because we've got uh, Jeff and Mark here from Element. Hello. How are you guys doing? Hey guys. Great. Thanks for, Thanks for having us. Thanks for joining us. You've got a whole they covered spread, the table. <laughs> spread o boxes. Yeah. yeah, it's been a big year. We have a lot of new stuff to show. It's uh, really pretty exciting. Did you hire like 900 more people? Uh, <laughs> you'd be surprised. We're still what 35 now? About? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Give about 35. Take. Nice. So, yep. Well, first of all, tell us what you guys do. We make uh, high-end premium cases, primarily for iPhone, but we are branching out into more uh, S4. Um, and other other uh, yep. Android type devices. We also added Xperia this year, and uh, we have our iPad and iPad Mini stuff as well. Cool. So the most popular devices you guys are making high end cases for. Yeah, absolutely. Clearly, I, I nice. Found. Okay, well let's let's take a look at them. What have we got here? Well, this um, looks interesting. I have not seen this before in an Element case. Yeah, this is the Rogue Black Ops. So the back of this is actually manufactured by a company called Hogue, and it's military spec. So it's the same material you might see used on like arm grips and things like that. So we're actually going to be at Shot Show next week with this as well. Uh, the first iPhone case ever to be at Shot Show, the big firearm show. So that's pretty exciting. Um, it's the same material that we use on the back of this one. It's the uh, Sector 5 Black Ops, and it's called G10, and it's aluminum around the side rails as well. Um, and then we also have their uh, insignia here on our ion case. So what does that grip do, Jeff? What does that allow you to do with the case? Uh, it's definitely more uh, rugged. Uh, it's very light, which it'll, and it's CNC machine, so it allows us to make the parts very thin and precision machining, whereas if we molded it in plastic, it'd be a little bit thicker and probably in the end come out a little bit more um, a little thicker and, and just kind of fatter. So we try to keep everything really thin, and machining is the way we do that. Yep. There's this dichotomy in the iPhone is that a lot of people want an iPhone, but they all look the same. And you know, maybe they don't want something where they want something high end. They spend a lot of money on their iPhone. And what I like about what you guys do is obviously the name Black Ops. I've also seen stuff that's like Formula One derived. Uh, you're doing things that are not only high end, but are almost geek niche, awesome culture stuff. You know, we really like to uh, make cases that people are going to use for the life of their phone. I used one of these ones for three years on my iPhone 4, never got a scratch on it, dropped it hundreds of times, never cracked the glass once. Um, we have this new one as well, it's uh, $100, it's um, the Solace Chroma, we have it in blue and red, so we can have your super cool, super rugged cases, and we have the stylish ones, and uh, we really just like to make stuff that complements the quality of the phone. If you're going to spend $1,000 on a phone and $5,000 over two years, why not make a case that's going to make you proud and uh, stand out from everyone else? So you're going now, uh, especially with the Solace, you're including the backplate. I remember the previous generations were more like bumpers and you'd have a sticker you could put on the back, but now you're building the backplate right in. We yeah. still do that, on, we still have a separate backplate on the higher end because it's removable, so it keeps it very thin. But on some of the, uh, the lower cost items, like this new Solace here, it's basically a, a, like a baby brother to the Ronin, our high end Ronin. So it's, it's uh, got two pieces of CNC uh, aluminum versus a full CNC aluminum perimeter frame. But yes, it is the backplate is built in into the main chassis now. Yeah, and a lot of accessories as well, like the wallet and the tactical holster. And, um, and then we even have some of our like our gold line stuff as well that we're coming out with, so uh, yeah, complimenting. You did, like a, you did a Chinese New Year special edition. Yeah. And, yeah, every uh, year we try to do that. <laughs> this year is the year of the horse. Yep. Um, we didn't bring Can that you, with us, it's, it's in our booth. But. Tell me how this works, because what you've got is a really uh, kind of rugged, tough case. Uh, that's not the kind of thing that you just slip your, you don't shove your iPhone into it because it's rubberized. How do you actually attach this around a, a uh, phone? Well, this one you're going to use the uh, speed wrench and you have to uh, remove the screws here. It's a semi-permanent installation, but it can always be interchanged. We sell, um, we now include a back plate where you can tack the backing onto it. So if you're going to take your phone off and the adhesive backing will stick here so you have a good place to store it and uh, all the parts will go in here. And, um, but once it's on there, we've got really nice wide openings on the bottom. Pretty much a lot, like Belkin works really easily with it. V-Moto works really easily with it. You know, anything that's like straight into it, um, you might want to 
use something like this, but it's very versatile. I cheat. I take off two screws, just slide it in. Is that bad? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, the Ronin is the supposed speed to be installed install. that way. <laughs> <laughs> Our customers don't seem to mind uh, fiddling with it and, and taking it apart and, and being a little bit creative on how they, you know, it's a little bit more work, but um, our, our customers seem to enjoy it and kind of appreciate it. So what are your lines for this year? I mean, every year you seem to surprise me with something new. Well, we've got the Ducati stuff, and um, unfortunately I forgot to bring one out of the showcase. Yeah. <laughs> but if you can imagine this with a nice Ducati red up on the uh, side here. So we're it's off be... racing around the track is where it is, right? Indeed, <laughs> yes. Uh, we're one of two companies now doing the Ducati stuff, and uh, Draco's the other one. But we're hoping we might be the only one uh, if we're lucky enough this year. So what does that mean when you put some good Ducati name on the case? Um, well, that means that uh, you know our brand is going to resonate to some of the higher end lifestyle customers who wouldn't otherwise be so keyed into the uh, to the mobile accessories market. It allows us to get our name in front of that crowd that we are actually aiming for. Because you know, in the end, we're more of a lifestyle. We're not so much high tech. We're more lifestyle and uh, sports and action oriented. So Ducati and sharing our name with them helps us to get in front of the right audience. Yeah. Nice. Well, the other neat bonus, too, we're going to be in all the North American and European dealerships for Ducati. So you all should be able to pick us up in stores now. When as you well. buy your motorcycle, John, <laughs> right. you get the matching case to go with it. Yeah, and then of course. you stick on your... Like uh, a Porsche. <laughs> and those cases will all work the, um, the mounting yeah. system as well. So uh, you can snap them into your bike and they can mount to your bike. And you have the iPad versions down there as well. Yep. This nice. is our brand new um, Softech Pro. So last year we came out with our first folio case. This year now, this is actually my iPad in here, my personal one. Um, so this one now has a fixed typing and viewing stance. And then this will actually detach. I'm not going to do it here because it's a little tricky, but this part comes off and it will just be like a solid case so you can get the flap off there. Nice. And then the whole idea the for this here. line is to be uh, modular so that when you take the cover off, you can actually snap in like a hand strap, yeah. Or a commercial mounting device, a you know, stock, like or people use it like for check-in yeah. or yep. you know event bride things like that. It's very easy. And so, we're um, keeping track of a show. We can just have it on our hand. Exactly. You right. still be your very notes. durable, but you could customize the the way you're gonna. Right. So this yeah. is this is launching this week, um, and more accessories to come on this. Seventy on this sixty-nine one? on that. Yeah. How about the uh, pricing on some of these other units? This is the highest end in our Black Ops line, and that's the Black Ops Pro Elite. And that case retails for $220. Okay. And again, it's because it's a full CNC yeah, machine. Yeah, CNC aluminum, machine and everything. Right, yeah. uh, CNC G10. Um, and then it, it goes down to a $49 um, TPU and um, ultra suede gotcha. back, back plate. And that one nice. can just slip on real easy, but they all offer the same level of protection. I personally um, love the Solace myself the most. And I kind of like the idea of having to use a uh, little wrench and screwdrivers and things <laughs> to just put my case on because A, it's geeky and badass. It is, absolutely. <laughs> I think B, a lot of people C do. A. We do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, thanks so much for coming by to show us all these beautiful, beautiful cases. They're just absolute works of Absolutely. art precision. So. And typical style for us, we want to give away one of our uh, gold sectors. Oh. So anybody who wants to grab one of these, um, you can do a comments one, but we'll toss one of these away after the show. Nice, nice. Awesome. We'll add it to the uh, giveaways. That's All right. Fantastic. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Right. You guys, thanks, thanks for continuing uh, to watch all of our coverage here at CES Live. We'll be right back with even more <laughs> after this. More awesome.